Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. It has been a long time. Well, apart from my slam dunk video, it has been a long time since a haul. This is gonna be a mix for haul and my main favorite. So sit back and enjoy. It is a bit of a random haul, so please bear with me, but it's gonna be a good one. So trust me on this one. What are these, which are the cups? I've got lime green and got the pink one. I got these in TK Maxx a while ago. Um, and they are awesome. They're like £1.50, maybe £1.85. But they've been cups that have been so, so good. I love the colour of them, so they'll be amazing in my new home soon. And they're just awesome kind of um, styles. Very kind of like art deco pattern. Um, but they can hold hot and cold drinks. So they're ideally perfect for what I want. Also, when I was in Primark, I discovered some of these amazing jars that are obviously quite common. Years ago, probably about maybe three or four years ago. Um, I remember having a kind of rum mix cocktail um, in a bar and they use like a jam jar as an actual glass um, and since then the phase and the whole trend of it has become really really popular and these are the ones that Primark do at the moment, they are £1.50 and I absolutely love them, they do different patterns on the front um, and different colours so you can choose what you prefer, um, different logos and names and so forth but this one says ice, ice cold drink um, served here and it's quite a nice pattern. The only thing is that I'm right handed so you don't see it but you know for 150 you can't go wrong but they're brilliant perfect for the summer and I do the big great for those cocktails as well so one pound fifty you can't go wrong and I got four of those next I have is urban fruit urban fruit is an amazing um, discovery that I have found literally is a train station of the day on my way to work and I wanted something quite easy to have not like kind of crappy food or like chocolate and stuff so I found these and the ones I did have um, were the mango um, but these ones are the strawberry ones and they taste amazing they're so good um, and I believe that they are no sugars and preservatives so it's basically just dried fruit and um, I absolutely love these ones so they're my, my, my go-to snack product at the moment and I absolutely love them I think they're about £2.50 for two so that's not too bad really but a great little snack alternative to that sweets and chocolates and galore that you may be involved with. So I have a few hair products of my favourites for this month and I've mentioned them before but I'm going to mention it again because I love it. Um, but first of all I'm going to start off with a new one and it is VO5 Ultimate Hold Hairspray. This hairspray is amazing, it does so so well. It holds really well in rain, in wind and just in normal weather conditions but I find it's perfect. It doesn't leave your hair crusty, it doesn't leave your hair kind of feeling too like shiny and kind of like stiff it's just an amazing hold um, and it's great also for curls as well I can't fault anything from VO5 at the moment it's been my product and my brand that I've constantly gone to so I'd recommend to anyone who wants a new hairspray that's inexpensive um, and does the trick then grab some VO5. Next thing I probably have mentioned before this one but it is my L'Oreal Elnet hair protectant spray um, or heat protectant spray and this one is for volume for three days. Um, I've had this for a while and I still have roughly about about a quarter maybe just under that left and it's done me so so well um, I use my straighteners and a lot of my heat products a lot more often nowadays because now my hair is super long um, since last summer so I've had to use straighteners and curlers and tongs and whatnot on it so this has been my go-to product making sure that my hair is not as not damaged but um, it holds well with heat basically so this has been an amazing product worth money definitely by a long stretch and I absolutely love this product. The cost of this one is roughly about sort of six five to six pounds. My other product which I have mentioned many a times is Dr Organics and I really can't sing its praises enough for the third time running probably but this is Dr Organics Organic Moroccan Argan Oil Hair, hair Treatment. This is still the same bottle that I was given um, in December, I think it was, and I'm still up to here and I've still got all this much left. If you come across that blue bottled Moroccan oil, completely ignore it. Do not force the idea or even think about spending 25 quid on a product that probably doesn't do that well. This stuff I've been using mostly every day um, since December and it is just well, the proof is in the picture, let's be honest. Um, my hair is growing ridiculously well. I have no split ends. It's the healthiest it's ever been. It's the thickest it's ever, ever been. And um, money is, for, for this product, the money is definitely worth it. And I 
cannot even express how important it is for you guys to get involved. Um, you can get it from Holland and Barrett's. It is pricey, but it's much cheaper than the blue bottled organic um, Moroccan oil. So this is the one to go for, and it is my ideal number one hair product of the year. Next up, I have something for the uh, legs. I used to, years ago, use St. Marais, um, hair St. Marie's tanning uh, mousse spray. I kind of went back and forth. It was a really cheap one you used to be able to get in home bargains or um, very cheap kind of drugstores that pretty much did the trick. However, discovering, looking back over photos, it was really muddy tanning uh, lotion. So recently I've discovered the Rimmel, um, I think it's more like a gel cream. Uh, tanning product and it's great it's good it's just still quite a nuisance to keep on um, waterproof not by any stretch of the imagination is it waterproof so I've gone back to a very old school uh, brand but Sally Hansen airbrush legs and this one is water resistance tan glow there's quite a few different shades but this one I quite like because it does produce a very nice natural glow um, but a good coverage and this is primarily for your legs I use it for my whole body. Mine is the face of, um, but this one's a great product for an all round tan. It's great because it's a spray on, you can apply it evenly on your arms and then use a mitt just to sort of blend it in. Water resistance, hell yes. Um, the great thing about this one compared to the St. Marie's is that it dries straight away. There's no tackiness, stickiness, blotchiness, um, just it's even coverage and it does really well. It's about seven, eight pounds for the bottle, but I've used this thoroughly for the past couple of weeks and I've got a hell of a lot left. So definite recommendation if you want to go for something slightly different, then crack open this one. So we're going to face products and I've been making a little visit to Lush um, because I felt like I had probably disowned it uh, for a long time. So what I have picked up is the Mask of Magnamity and this one is a basically peppermint mask that everything you can to fight eruptions and outbreaks and return your skin to tip top condition. I've been using this because I, get, I have recently had a lot of dryness around my nose so this has worked a treat. The one thing I will say it's quite, and I know it's a mask, but it's quite bitty compared to my other one, which is Dark Angels, and that one's kind of like more of a charcoal sugar kind of based item, so you just literally kind of scrub it on and it kind of washes off, whereas this is more like a lumpy kind of paste. Um, it's very new to me, so perhaps it just takes its time to get used to something that's so different, but this one does do really well. It leaves your face feeling so refreshing, especially if it's for the summertime, um, because of the peppermint in it, it just creates a lovely result. And that was probably about five, six pounds maybe. The other product I grabbed was the Tea Tree Water. Now, I've been using the MAC Fix Plus spray, which I cannot fault at all. I'm just bored of it. Uh, and I don't want to fork out money again for something that I've already tried out. So I'm going through different kind of versions of uh, face sprays to see what would be the best one for me because each spray does different things and my skin's very different to everyone else. I've gone for this one which is the toner water. Now I don't have oily or spot prone skin but I do like to have my face feeling refreshed in the morning. So I spray this on before I apply any makeup. It does make my makeup and my foundation set really really well. Especially in the summertime this is amazing because if you're waking up and it's hot and sticky and boiling and you you know you just want to refresh it after you've had the shower spray that on and you just feel amazing so great product i think the small version of this was about four pounds the big one's probably eight pounds maybe more than that um but so far so good i quite like this another face product which i uh, discovered recently is the mac prep and prime moisture infusion serum hydrated this is quite good and i find the results are quite impressive it's basically a great kind of uh, moisturizer for your face and um, I apply this after I've done my tea tree spray um, but before my foundation so it means that my foundation sets on a very well moisturized face and no dry patches will appear 
really like the product i'm not sure whether i'll go for it again but as far as i'm concerned it does really well it does the same as probably my johnson's uh, face cream which costs probably about five for a pot double the size of this um, but for the meantime this is quite a nice little alternative and i'm pretty happy with it so not too bad and the price of that is 25 pounds so for the price it's good to start off and see how you go with it favorite brushes of the month are two from zoeva and one from h&m would you believe it first of all the zoeva one it is the luxe petite crease brush and is pretty much a kind of uh, dumpy more softer but tighter here brush um, and the idea of this one is that it gets right into the crease of your eye um, doesn't produce the smoke it produces the depth so you want more depth and more um, product in that crease and that just does perfectly this is also great to use underneath so if you find that product doesn't tend to kind of apply very well underneath your eye then this is great because it produces the perfect line and then a chance to actually blend it out um, but the Zoeva brushes are about five pounds I think they're incredibly good way better than Mac for the price you're paying you well just put money towards a great Zoeva brush the other Zoeva brush is of course the Lux highlights now this is a highlighter brush however I've kind of tested a few different versions of how to use this brush and I've pretty much narrowed it down to a great highlighter um, a great contour if you really are struck for choice or haven't got a contour brush on you again for the price it was which i think was about 10 pounds maybe less than that so inexpensive such good quality watch out mac right the other brush i've gone for and this was from a, probably a youtube video of some sort i can't even remember whose it was the h&m brush and this one is actually for bb creams it's quite a dumpy brush it's also angled um, and it's quite a sort of in between dense and soft um, it's got soft ends but it's quite dense as a brush overall this applies my l'oreal true match foundation incredibly well and i cannot fault it one bit it comes across as a high brand or high-ended product um, but the brush alone doesn't melt it doesn't um, give uneven coverage it literally does its job and for anyone that wants an inexpensive brush to apply foundation very similar to true match or very similar to studio sculpt then please check this out it is the ideal brush the price of that one also was seven pounds maybe six maybe five it was just very cheap may favorite but also a new one for me is the magic lumi hmm, l'oreal lumi magic and this one is the kind of um, highlighting concealer or illuminating concealer not too bad at the moment it's a lovely color it applies on really well it stays really well and i apply this over my um mac concealer just to build up a bit more coverage but also as well to lighten around my eyes and produce that nice look $7.99 not too bad um, I think it's way better than the collection 2000 I hate the new kind of um, product of that now I think it's been remade and the the actual product itself is not how it used to be so I don't really get on very well with it anymore and I tend to either go for Maybelline Fit because it's creamier um, or I go for alternative and this is my alternative so check it out if you like something a little bit different and much easier and lighter for the summer of course it isn't a YouTube beauty vlog if you're not mentioning Tanya Burr's lip glosses they have been the talk of the town when it comes to every kind of beauty vlog a uh, haul makeup video uh, favorites and I've now finally jumped on that bandwagon and it is the Tanya Burr eye candy collection and this one is pretty much my favourite colour it is Picnic in the Park I've got it on at the moment um, and I absolutely love these products they are highly pigmented they are creamy they last for most of the day the brushes are awesome because they do bend and they're flat brushes um, I find a lot of old school lip glosses tend to like have that kind of real hard plastic brush um, but this one applies really well. I love it. I can't fault it enough. It's got me back into my lip glosses as before I was really into the kind of lipsticks and matte lipsticks. This is stepping me back into my lip glosses and it's a great look for the summer and it's a great product to add to my lip collection. The price of these are £6 but I believe at the moment that I got mine in Superdrug. So three for two, grab those deals. Another lip gloss, but in a way this is a velvet matte one, is the... Mm, uh, <laughs> is the Bourjois Rouge Edition. Now this one is velvet, 
number three and it is called hot pepper and I absolutely love this it produces a real nice velvet finish and I think they come under the price of seven pounds eight pounds May favorites isn't a May favorites without an inner mask product involved and my favorite one which I got quite a while ago actually and um, we're talking probably February maybe maybe January but it is the Illamasqua pressed pigments or pure pigments and this one is in fervent it do come to a cost of probably about 17 pounds when you think about the product product that you have and the amount um, it's definitely worth the money and the result of it is incredible Thank you so much for watching and I hope you really enjoyed my channel. If you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Any recommendations or comments put below and I will see you guys next time. Bye.